Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to transfer the character creator tree, the CC tree hairs to Unreal Engines. So let's follow step by step here. If you are in your character creator tree, at the beginning this is the this is the default avatar. What you need to do is just give her a hairstyle. All of the CC3 hairstyles are here. Click the group. Under the hair, legacy, click the CC. And now you, sh you should be able to see all this hairstyle. For example, I double click this. It will apply the hairstyle for your character creator tree avatar. The next step. In order to transfer it to your Unreal Engine, you need to make this hair, this hairstyle become accessory. Now I double click it. I already selected it. Click here. Click convert to accessory. And make sure you select bake current shape and click convert. And just wait for a while at here. Now it already become, become an accessory. Next, you have to click here to send this character to icon click and wait for a while in your icon 7 now it is transferring once it finished you can see that this avatar is already here and actually the hairstyle the hairstyle is an accessory when you double click it you click here you should be able to scroll down and see a keyword attach it attached to the CC base hit. What you need to do is click detach. And now you can see go back to your scene. It already become a prop. Alright, next you can click your CC3 avatar. You press Q and double click the avatar. Press delete button to delete the avatar. Now it just left the hairstyle. Press Q and double click the hairstyle. Next. You go to the icon and real life link here. You must make sure that you already opened your your Unreal Engine game project and you already set up the CC setup and icon and real life link. This is a plugin both already set up in your icon 7 and your Unreal Engine. If you still don't know how to set up the icon and real life link, you can just scroll down. Go to my video description there. There's a tutorial how to download and set up icon on real life link. This is a YouTube video tutorial link. I already put a link at there. If you have difficulties on how to set up the icon on real life link, you can just go to refer that. Once you finish set it up in your Unreal Engine, you can see the icon on real life link is at there. And Next, you go back to your icon 7, open the icon and real life link here, make sure you untick everything, untick everything and only left the prop, this is, this is the hair, you check the scenes, once it's selected, this is the hair, click the, con click the Icon and real life link and click here. Make sure you untick place assets in scene next. You can just click transfer file. Once you already click it, you have to wait in your Unreal Engine. Now it is transferring. Just wait for a while until it, it finished transfer. You just have a look. You click transfer the file. Now it is transferring. You need to wait for a while until it finish transfer into into your your Unreal Engine. This here, once it finish transfer, it will immediately appear at here. So now just be patient and wait for this. Alright, once you finish transfer, it will automatic pop out at here. You can see. Actually, all of these hairs, they are under the folder, under the content folder, RL content, and the name is hair. 
it is set here it is a skeletal mesh what you need to do is just double click the, the, the skeletal mesh and then here you click make static mesh the name you name it as hair01 and click ok wait for a while now you close it back to the content folder next you have to find the meshes the hair01 is here you double click it and next what you need to do is just scroll down here go to the collision setting the, the collision complex city here you can change it to use complex collision as simple then you click save and close now you can see this hairstyle the head zero ones is ready for you to use it is already in your unreal engines all right this offer today about how to transfer any of the CC3, the character cradle tree hairs to Unreal Engine as a 3D object and now you can do it in your Unreal Engine for any purposes. You can use this hairstyle for any purposes that you want. Alright, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to this YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy happy animation and game developing. See you.